What up, y'all? What up, y'all? We at the Edwards, Ontario, 22 cinemas, and we're here to catch us a flick. Yeah, we're here to check out Transformers The Last Night. This is the fifth in the Transformers series. Michael Bay is finally saying, he's like, this time I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. So we got uh, Mark Warburg back from the last one. I didn't like the last one. I liked them all up until the fourth one. I thought it was kind of ridiculous. It was kind of like all over the place. Like, what am I watching? But anyways, the last night looks to be no different than the last. So I don't have much high expectations. And I love the brand, of course. I played the toys when I was a kid. Love the first three, especially the first one and a, a, pretty much the third one. Anyways, Transformers the last night. We're about to see it in IMAX 3D. The only way to see a Transformers movie. Got my treats right there. They got a, they got a, uh, a pair of 3D glasses and a shirt for me waiting for me, so let's get in there, y'all. It's 7 o'clock. We're doing it early on Tuesday evening because it comes out tomorrow. Transformers The Last Night, Michael Bay's last hoorah for the franchise. Uh, and then next year, I think the Bumblebee movie coming out. No, no, 2019, I think. So, anyways, let's, let's, let's do it, y'all. Let's make it happen. Transformers The Last Night. Here we go, y'all. Transformers the last night. Get my treats. Try to hold on to them. Yeah, they drop it. Here we go. All right, here we go. Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. It was just as dumb as the last one, y'all. I could go on and on and on and on. I'm watching a long two and a half hour movie of just shit that I just like what the hell too much excess like incredible amount of excess and the problem though unfortunately is Michael Bay mm -mm. Mike Bay just needs to get away from Transformers man he just needs to get away from Transformers I, I, I tried to defend you all these years, babe, but I don't know, bro. Further thoughts, further thoughts. Yeah. So as you see Prime right there kneeling down, he should be kneeling down apologizing. Um, I didn't like Transformers 5, 5. It, it was just more excess. They barely had a story. It, it seemed like the robots they used were used because they were already rendered from the last movie. Um, why was Grimlock in this movie? He had no purpose of being in this movie. Um, the whole Quintessa, the, the Queen Autobot, the Queen Transformer, fuck her, she was dumb. Cybertron coming to Earth again after the third movie. Um, and, and now, what, what, Cybertron is just gonna be a neighbor to Earth now? I mean, destroying Earthly, like one of the Seven Wonders, destroying pyramids, destroying cities, it's like, this has to be the end of the franchise. You see people who just enjoyed it nonetheless, though. You know, as I come out, y'all heard people clapping and everything like that, which is beyond me. I mean, the, through the whole movie, nobody was responding in any way. Nobody was saying, ooh, ah, that was dope. And the, there was a few laughs of some of the dialogue. My man, John Turturro, had no purpose, no purpose being in this movie. No purpose whatsoever. The, 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 what killed this movie to me was the immense amount of exposition. My man, uh, my man Anthony Hopkins was just doing all the exposition that it was just unnecessary. The whole, 
not the bumblebee in Nazi time, World War II was just terrible. That it was completely unnecessary flashback. It, it did nothing. It did nothing to the story. Um, and they don't even get the continuity. I remember there was one part where some car was flipping over, you know, some transfer was flipping over, exploding, and everything like that. And there was a pallet, a, a, a stack pallet. A, uh, a stack of, of pallets right next to them, and it just stood there, balanced. It didn't move at all. Not the wind brushed it. I'm like, dude, y'all not, y'all not doing, y'all not doing it, dude. The, the, it's so inconsistent with the continuity. Um, this little girl running around, getting on the alien ship, being involved in the middle, in, in the climax. Humans just flipping all over the place. They should be dead when they when they dropping several feet into metal uh, flooring and everything. It just. It's just a big, dumb movie full of excess, yo. Um, and you know what? This franchise is is everything right there. You see everybody still enjoying it and still taking pictures with Prime. I love Prime and everything like that, but these last two movies, they even destroying his character by talking about, I will kill you and all that stuff like that. That's not Prime, man. There's... <sighs> they, need to, they need to reboot this franchise and set it in the 80s, just like the original cartoon. Uh, my dear franchise, my dear franchise, or my dear brand, Transformers. I don't know what's become of you, bro. Um, it's Michael Bay's fault, I think. I, I like the first three, even the second one where there was barely a script, I guess, because of the writer's strike. And I like the third, except for the whole Shia LaBeouf, you know, new girlfriend and the boss and everything. That little aspect was dumb, but Climax was dope. Um, man. And Mark Wahlberg being the last night, the whole medieval tie-in, that whole was nonsense. All that was nonsense. The big, the butler robot, uh, Anthony Hopkins' butler robot, dumb. Uh, he, he, he was basically Jar Jar Banks of this movie. He was basically Jar Jar Banks of this movie. <sighs> Unfortunately, man, this movie was... I don't know which one I would like better. Uh, the last one, uh, Age of Extinction, or this one. Both of them were dumb to me, though. Both of them were very dumb. I, I, there was one little thing that I liked where somebody's uh, finally getting their voice. Now, you should guess what that is. That was dope, but besides that... Transformers last night was whack, yo. Unfortunately. So, those are my two thoughts on Transformers last night. Unfortunately, it wasn't all that great at all. It was whack. It's like the last one. I don't know if they're going to do it with this franchise. I don't know if this Bumblebee movie is... How are they going to have the Bumblebee movie with, with Cybertron being a moon of Earth now? I mean... I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, so... Those are my thoughts on Transformers The Last Night. Unfortunately, this is quite fitting with Prime kneeling down because he should be kneeling down in shame with this edition of this franchise. Um, yeah, bittersweet, bittersweet. It's a lot of spectacle without any kind of uh, substance whatsoever. Uh, but when you're watching Transformers movie, why are you looking for substance? So anyways, I got to give it one of these. You know, so... It's your boy, Neek. Me and the movies. Catch y'all next flick.